I well, so I just came live today to wish you all the best for the gate exam. And um, I think most of you might have already left for your centers. And um, but I just wanted to wish you all the very best for the exam. And um, I just wanted to say that uh, in case um, the exam is tough, not to get panicked. OK, just try to give your best. OK, that is what matters. And uh, you're prepared enough. So just try to be as calm as possible for the exam. OK, and um, what else? Don't make silly mistakes. There is a lot of chance that in the gate exam, you'll make silly mistakes. So try and avoid that. What I mean by silly mistakes is, for example, um, you would not get time for revision, okay, in in the in the exam because it's a lengthy exam. Of course, if you're at, if you're attempting 10, 15 questions, then you will get time for revision. So, uh, otherwise, you won't get time for revision until unless you have practiced a lot. So what I would recommend is just to, uh, you know, uh, once you are solving a question, at that point of time only solve it thoroughly so that you don't have to come again to see the question until unless you are doubtful about a question. In that that case, you can mark for review. But in case you are not clear with the question, uh, or if you're clear with the question, just solve it then, okay? You might not get time to revise later on, okay? And uh, aptitude makes a lot of difference. So make sure that you take out some time, at least 15 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes of your time for the aptitude section, because that's important. And gate, unlike net, it is not that easy, the aptitude section, okay? The English portion is easy if your English is good. Um, it would be very easy for you to solve at least four questions from the aptitude section because four to five questions are based on your English, general English. The rest five, five questions, which are two markers, are generally based on the aptitude. And they're not that easy to solve, okay? But if you are able to secure 10 marks in the aptitude section, that's a good, uh, you know, that's a good uh, score. And uh, what else I wanted to talk about? Yeah, please make sure that you know, there are some questions where the reagent is given or the molecule is given and then they give some reagent and they give you product A and then on the left side, they give you another reagent and they say product B. So A will be different, B will be different. But when you see the options, they will write A this side and B this side. So sometimes uh, in a hurry, you tend to uh, confuse. So make sure that whatever A is mentioned, you look in the question, what is mentioned in the options A. Because sometimes A will be given here in the uh, in the question and B here, and the options A will be given on this side and B on that side. I have I have personally made that mistake, so that's why I'm telling you that. Okay, and uh, and uh, that greater than or less than, don't make that silly mistake. Okay, make sure that you are going for the right option, especially in metal carbonyls. Uh, see what kind of bond they're asking for, whether they're asking for a metal carbon bond or the CO bond, because it will be inverse. If the metal carbon bond is strong, then CO bond will be weak. And if CO bond is strong, then metal carbon bond will be weak. So make sure that you analyze it properly before attempting, okay? And I don't know if any one of you from IIT Jam is here, but I'll definitely this time make an analysis as to what are the expected topics in the IIT Jam video as well. I've got tons of requests for that. So I'll definitely be doing that as well, all right? and. Uh, if you have any other doubts, thank you so much for showing um, so much appreciation. I wish you all the very best. And in case I am here for another five, six minutes before I leave for my center. So uh, in case you have any kind of queries, um, please feel free to ask me as of now. I think that depends on the difficulty level of the paper, but if you want to qualify for the exam, um, scoring uh, above one, uh, scoring above 35 is, I, I guess, safe for qualifying the exam. Okay. Because I think last time, uh, yeah, scoring above 35 is safe, I would say. And the competition is increasing because I remember in 2017, there were around 15,000 students who gave the exam. And in 2019, it was up to, I think, 25,000 or 22,000. Okay. For better rank, when it depends on the paper, okay, it, de it totally depends on the paper. But generally, I think like last year, above 60 was good score. Uh, whereas in 2017, above 45 was a good score. So it depends from paper to paper, right? But yeah, generally, if I would have to give a value, then I think 50 is generally, uh, uh, I can say, a decent score above 50 if you want to get a okay rank. Uh, by okay rank, I mean between like. 
above 50 you might get around 200 250 like that uh, Rajat, yeah, uh, tips I've already given in my video on NAT and before that, Sarabji, I'll definitely be doing the analysis. Don't worry about that. I'll be uploading it as soon as possible. Um, hi, Jerry. Uh, coming to um, the question which was posed by uh, NAT. Yeah, any tips for NAT. So I've already given the tips for NAT. Uh, there's no negative marking. Okay, just read the question, uh, question like the instructions once. I'm 100% sure there's no negative marking for NAT. But you never know. Sometimes they just change it for, you know, one paper. So just make sure in the instruction instructions given, make sure it is written over there that there's no negative for NAT. Okay. And uh, like I said, sorry. Yeah, so like I was saying that make sure that the options um are you know like make sure that whatever units are given they will definitely give you units in which you have to answer the NAT type question in most of the cases okay so then make sure that whatever reactants are given whatever things are given to you you are able to rearrange the units such that you get to, to get to the units of the answer okay that is one thing then isomer isomerism questions you should always attempt NAT type questions like they might ask you how many isomers will be formed and they'll just give you a blank so there's I mean NAT type questions anyhow if you don't have any idea also you have to do something I will tell you one trick that I used in um, uh, in one of the exams NAT type questions only uh, they had given a question language adsorption isotherm okay at that time I did not know and they had asked the fraction and at that time I did not know uh what the uh you know like what the formula was so what i did was uh whatever the fractions were given i knew it is a fraction so it is and somehow i did the calculation i used some logic and i knew the fraction value would be above 0 0.5 but it cannot be greater than 0 0.9 i got till this point i did not have any idea about the formula so it was between 0 0.5 and 0 0.9 i knew and i marked the option as 0 0.73 Okay, and okay, from here only I realize one more thing. Make sure that you answer to the decimal places that they have asked for. They will ask you in the question up to two decimal places. Then you answer only up to two decimal places. If you answer to one decimal place, you'll, you'll get negative. Okay, or if you answer up to three decimal places, you will not get marks. Please make sure that till whatever decimal places they have mentioned, you answer till that decimal place only. Okay, so yeah, I marked the answer as 0 0.73. And somehow the range was 0 0.70 to 0 0.77. So this is a benefit that you can use. Like I said, with logic also, you can solve physical chemistry questions, especially the NAT ones, because you don't have any negative over there. Uh, Rakshinda, actually, I was actually looking for that book because th I think that is one of the best books, the one uh, which was written in 1965. But I uh, hope that you have some updated version. I think the best version I have is 1984, I think, because after 1965, a lot of other uh, new discoveries were made in those fields. So 1965 would, book would not be complete. Okay. Uh, that is totally on the exam, Pooja. Uh, you can say up to a rank of 300, but uh, 1 to 100 or 1 to 50 is, imp I think, a very difficult task to guess. That totally depends on the level of the exam. After the exam, I might be able to tell you uh, that how much score would we say for a 50 ranker but before the exam it is impossible to say uh, so i'm an iit jam aspirant i've just cracked organic today oh, you just started organic today um if your option if your uh, goal is to crack iit it's definitely possible um but uh, i don't know about getting a good score okay I am doubtful that without the help of organic, it will be difficult to get a good score. But yes, you can definitely qualify the exam. So I guess most of you, uh, uh, term symbols definitely, Osham. I have a strong feeling term symbols will come in the exam. Term symbols and organ diagrams, both. Uh, I have a feeling it will come. Oh, so that it's a uh, very um, simple uh, because uh, for the net exam, people who are 35, 40 years of age who have not qualified net as of now, they are also giving the exam. OK, um, so there are a lot of net aspirants, not GRF aspirants, net aspirants um, there. I know a lot of um, uh, professors in state colleges who have still not qualified net. So all of them give the exam. And you are right. 
around 25000 students give the um, gate exam aspirants not students okay there might be some um, uh, like all of them are not students obviously so yeah 25000 aspirants give the gate exam and um, around uh, what say 53390 gave so almost double the number gave the net exam so most of them are basically gate exam is also uh, it's getting popular day by day it's not that popular as of now but as of, as you know that you know a lectureship or professorship is one of the most sought after um, jobs so that's why there's more popularity for net and there are a lot of aspirants who are third above 30 and above 40 also i would say who are still giving the net exam okay especially uh, professors from state colleges natural per se uh, others i have not done the analysis i like i told you i would be do i'll do a live session also and i'll do a video on based on the analysis there once i studied i have actually not looked at the iit exam papers for the last 2 3 years okay so i have no idea as of now i once i'll do the analysis i'll definitely help you out uh bhavesh अंतर्यामी तो होनी में तो मेरे को पता नहीं कौन सा क्वेश्चन आएगा फिजिकल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी से बट मेरे को लगता है न्यूमेरिकल्स हमेशा ही आते हैं गेट में तो न्यूमेरिकल ही आएगा कोई ना कोई इधर फ्रॉम मोस्ट बार भी आ सकता है वैसे तो इस बार मेरे को लग रहा है बट रमन या वाइब्रेशनल और रोटेशनल ये तीन है जिनसे न्यूमेरिकल आता है तो इन तीनों से एक्सपेक्ट कर कर रहा हूँ मैं कि कोई न्यूमेरिकल आएगा Oshima after the gate exam and once I make the videos for jam I have some previous questions from bark as well so I'll be having a complete discussion on the bark exam Riven I'll definitely be doing the video okay Any other doubts a few more minutes before I leave Definitely Sagar I'll do analysis of all three um organic inorganic and physical I think most of the doubts are up. Uh, yeah, Satyam, I always do that. I have been doing that from 2016 onwards. So it's been it's my what fifth exam. <laughs> Same for net also. Net also I have been giving from 2015 December. So I think I have given more than ten papers. Hi Dharanjay, hi Simran, all the very best for the exam. and yeah yeah i already answered that i'll be definitely uh i'll definitely be um like making a video of bark after once i make jam videos jam exam is next week um after that i'll be focusing on bark that's a good aspiration kem chris no so that first two i gave just for fun so the third one technically you can say first because i always like to give exams for fun first and then actually prepare for it to get an idea of the exam i was not eligible actually for the first two attempts i gave my first attempt in bsc Anyway, so personal questions outside or some other time, just ask me doubts as of now. Please suggest books on stereo chem which are available as free PDFs. I could not find any online. Um, there is a website called b hyphen ok dot org. Okay, b hyphen ok dot org. you will find most of the books on that website even though i don't promote piracy but anyway how there are a lot of students who have issues uh, with purchasing books so that is a very good website my email id is name reaction 2017 at gmail.com this one i have particularly made for uh, answering your queries name reaction 2017 at gmail.com or you can actually go to the website also a facebook page reagent blues over there also you can ask me your doubts 
reagent blues r e a g e n t b l u e s no manisha i'm giving the exam it's i'll go see i always come at uh, the last moment so you can give the exam 30 you can arrive for the exam 30 minutes um 30 minutes after the start of the exam also like the gate closing time is 3 pm so i will reach around that time only yeah dhanjay i i i can't say for i think i'm i'm actually i won't be promising any videos as of now because i am not sure of my schedule that when i get time whenever i get time this is the first thing that i do either i go to play sports or i make videos okay so uh these are the two things i do apart from research so, so whenever i get time i'll definitely be making videos i i don't know actually now where to start from but uh, i will take your help i will take out a poll that what topics you want me to make videos on so that i can start off with that or with them uh that was just a trick uh, manisha i i, I mean uh, that was not a trick as such that was not a guess i was saying that when you are doing reverse when you are solving the questions or when you are doing reverse engineering kind of reverse engineering means basically you have the options and you are put fitting the options in the uh, question and getting the answer that is what reverse you can say uh, reverse answering is or reverse whatever you would want to call it so for that i said whenever you are doing reverse questions it should be either c or b or c not a or d either option c or b generally are the answers when you do the reverse uh, the reverse way okay oh that's great um dhanjay uh, to get a good score you have to do all three uh, it's very simple you can't get a good score in gate by doing only two subjects all the best vidya and uh, always i recommend this always works whenever you are when whenever you are stuttering through in the exam i would always say take deep breaths um that works the best anyway it's 12:30 and most of the questions are also out so i wish you again all the very best for the exam just do well take deep breaths and look at the start of the video if you are just joining right now because in start of the video i have mentioned a few things okay this video will get uploaded this live session and you can just just have a look at the tips for the first 3 4 minutes they they might be useful for you okay and that's it all the very best i wish you all that you score whatever ranks you desire and uh, i would still say that if the exam doesn't go well and you're just qualifying the exam also it is a big deal i can tell you out of personal experience qualifying the gate exam is also a big deal getting a rank is impressive but qualifying the exam is also a good deal okay so all the very best and uh, i'll see you after the exam with the analysis of the exam okay so yeah thank you